Because I'm using this when I go to Hollywood. This is like my reel. So this is like gotta be really great. <laughs> Uh, Radiant Season is a group of paintings, acrylic paintings on canvas, that I created specifically to be seen in the galleries here at the Denver Botanic Gardens. I wanted to create a group of paintings that would be uh, uh, in conversation with each other. And by that I mean paintings that um, kind of would have echoes of each other throughout the room. Each has a unique entity unto itself. It's a unique object, but they have to be seen together. I also wanted to create a group of paintings that would focus very specifically on the flora of the world we live in, specifically here, but at large, you know, in the world. And kind of at the expense of, um, as I kind of like to say, things with eyes. So in other words, I didn't want to have animals or human beings be in this group of paintings. I rarely paint the human figure, but occasionally um, there are, animal figures that prop up as primary characters in the work. I wanted to push them back to the background in this group of paintings and let the plant life take the kind of prominence that a animal or a human would normally in a painting. So I think one thing that happens like when you walk around a garden like this or out in the world on a hike even, you see the big picture. There's this great landscape or garden and we often then forget to look down and go, oh my God, look at that little blossom. So this show is a way for me to kind of do both. Hopefully, like the big, the show as an entirety is this greater landscape. And then there are these moments of focus that is an interesting challenge as a painter. Um, over the years, the work has actually changed very little in terms of its intention. And by that, I mean, my great focus is always been to um, look into the world outside. And by that I mean literally outside. The natural world has always been a great source of interest to me, inspiration, um, solace actually. A word that I come back to often when I talk about my work is that it's quiet. And that is almost becoming kind of a radical concept in our world, which is quite loud, visually, audibly. Um, Conceptually, there's a lot of stuff going on. I live in that world. I am um, challenged by all those issues sometimes. So for me to create objects that embody the sense of quiet, I think is a really interesting place to work from as an artist. And like I said, it's almost a radical idea because it's easily looked over and forgotten in a world which is constantly clamoring for attention visually and otherwise. I like to believe that if not now, in the future, the idea of quiet may be a really cherished quality in a piece of art. We'll see.